Good evening. This is Akashwa Nikohima reading you the evening news. I am Matsina. The headlines. Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi says the country has decided to form BJP NDA government for third time because of its good intentions and policies. Union government issues directions for blocking of incoming international spoofed calls displaying Indian mobile numbers. Woka police arrest two persons in fraud case and awareness come oral health camp conducted for student athletes of Indira Gandhi Stadium, Kohima. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi said that the country has decided to form a BJP NDA government for the third time because of its good intentions and policies. The country has understood that the INDI alliance is communal and casteist. PM Modi said this while addressing a public meeting in Mirzapur today. He claimed that Samajwadi Party and Congress people are dedicated to vote bank, whereas he is dedicated to the poor, Dalits and backward people of the country. Targeting Samajwadi Party, PM Modi said that Law and Order and the Samajwadi Party are opposite to each other. The Prime Minister further said Samajwadi Party government used to look forward to the mafias as a part of the vote bank, but under the Yogi government, action is being taken against the mafias. It has been reported that fraudsters are making international spoofed calls displaying Indian mobile numbers to Indian citizens and committing cybercrime and financial frauds. These calls appear to be originating within India, but being made by cybercriminals from abroad by manipulating the calling line identity. Such international spoofed calls have been misused in recent cases of fake digital arrests, fat ex scams, drugs in Korea, impersonation as government and police officials, disconnections of mobile numbers by Department of Telecommunications, TOT, or TRAI officials, etc. Therefore, the OT and telecom service providers, TSPs, have devised a system to identify and block such incoming international spoofed calls from reaching any Indian telecom subscriber. Directions have been issued to TSPs for blocking of such incoming international spoofed calls. Incoming international spoofed calls with Indian landline numbers are being already blocked by the TSPs as per directions issued by TOT. Despite best efforts, there may still be some fraudsters who succeed through other meat. Public can report such suspected fraud communications at Chaksu facility on Sanchar Sathi portal. Waka Police has arrested two persons in a fraud case. Additional SP and PRO DEF Waka, Soriso K. Quinker, stated that accused persons arrested on May 20th has been identified as Lochumbani M. Irui and Tungdemo K. Muri. Police said they were accused of embezzling an amount of 14 lakh 62,500 rupees from bank account of DBHSS Waka, which was maintaining its account since 2013 for the purpose of collecting fees. Police said that Irui was serving as the cashier and Muri was an assistant sales manager at Axis Bank, Waka, but resigned after the incident. Police said the complaint was received from branch head Axis Bank, Gaijin Lung Kamai. As per preliminary inquiry, police said it was ascertained that the duo were involved in embezzling bank money without the knowledge of their authority. On further inquiry, it was also ascertained that they have also given a confession letter to the erstwhile bank head Kahuto Achumi regarding their involvement in school fee embezzlement. Based on the findings, a case has been registered against the accused at Woka PS under relevant sections of law. Realizing the importance of oral health, the Department of Youth Resources and Sports in association with Naglin Institute of Science and Technology and Kekros Smile Foundation today conducted Oral Health Come Awareness Program for Student Athletes of Indira Gandhi Stadium, IGS Kohima. During the event, Special Guest Director of Youth Resources and Sports, Ketosityo Sekhose, said the IGS Kohima Academy has over 140 athlete students who are studying in schools and colleges and during a recent screening many students were found to have dental health problem and in this regard the event was necessitated. Sekhose also underscored the importance of oral health and told the students to take care of their dental health. On the occasion founding member Kekro Smile Foundation Dr. Fukrolo Koza gave awareness on oral health which forms an essential part of human beings to be healthy. He emphasized the importance of oral health, 
stating that prevention is always better than cure, while he also clarified the myths surfacing in dentistry by informing that vision is not affected by treatment or extraction of any tooth. Koza added that infected teeth left untreated can spread the infection to other parts of the body and stress the need to take care of health. This is a broadcast of Akashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. The Appointments Committee of Cabinet today approved the extension in service of Chief of the Army Staff COAS General Manoj C. Pandey for a period of one month. Beyond his normal age of superannuation, May 31, 2024, up to June 30, 2024, under Rule 16A, Clause 4 of the Army Rules 1954. He was appointed as the COAS on April 30, 2022. He was commissioned in December 1982 in the Corps of Engineers, the Bombay Sappers. He held the appointment of Vice Chief of the Army Staff before taking over as the COAS. To foster deeper understanding and collaboration between insurance sector and provide affordable Ayush healthcare to all citizens, Ayush hospitals and healthcare providers, the Ministry of Ayush is organizing a sensitization program specially designed for executive leadership teams of general insurance companies and owners of Ayush hospitals. The program will take place tomorrow at All India Institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi. The program intends to not just enhance the accessibility and affordability of Ayush treatments for the public, ultimately promoting holistic health and wellness across the nation, but also facilitate in the empanelment of public and private Ayush hospitals for insurance coverage in India. Filmmaker Payal Kapadia today scripted history by becoming the first Indian filmmaker to win the Grand Prix Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her film All We Imagine as Light. Kapadia's movie, which screened on Thursday night, is the first Indian film in 30 years and the first ever by an Indian female director to be showcased in the main competition. Kapadia's film competed alongside works by world-renowned directors. The jury was presided over by Greta Gerwig, director of Lady Bird and Barbie. All We Imagine as Light, an Indo-French production, tells the story of a nurse named Prabha who receives an unexpected gift from her estranged husband, causing disruption in her life. West Bengal government is taking comprehensive relief and rehabilitation measures in view of cyclo Cyclone Ramal, which is expected to make a landfall between Kepupara in Bangladesh and Sagar Islands in West Bengal, midnight of tonight as severe cyclonic storm. A special control room has been set up in the state secretariat, Nabanna. An integrated control room has also started working in Kolkata police headquarters to deal with possible disaster. Kolkata airport authorities have decided to suspend flight operations for 21 hours from today noon in view of possible impact of the cyclone. Meanwhile, Indian Navy has also initiated preparatory actions to provide immediate and effective assistance in the wake of Cyclone Ramal. It has readied two ships equipped with humanitarian assistance, disaster relief response and medical supplies for immediate deployment to ensure safety and welfare of affected populace. To end the news, the headlines again. Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi says the country has decided to form BJP NDA government for third time because of its good intentions and policies. Union government issues directions for blocking of incoming international spoofed calls if playing Indian mobile numbers. Waka police arrest two persons in fraud case and awareness come oral health camp conducted for student athletes of Indira Gandhi Stadium, Kohima. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Have a good night.